What's up, YouTube? Trevor Roberts back again with another ball review. And today I have with me the brand new RST X1 from Roto Grip. And this is the newest asymmetric ball in the Roto Grip line. So today I'm comparing it to the Rubicon, which is another asymmetric ball. And that just came out uh, three months ago, I believe. So, RST X1 versus Rubicon. Let's get right into it. And of course, I'm going to start with the new one here, the RST X1. And I actually have the same layout on both of these two balls, so that is a constant. And this first shot, I'm going to throw it from 28, and I'm looking at 14 at the nose. Okay, and uh, this pair that I'm bowling on right now has quite a bit of oil, so... That's why I'm so far right with these balls. 14 at the arrows is normally, I don't even start that far right. So there's definitely some oil on this pair. And that ball just dug in that oil pretty well. Let's see what the Rubicon does here. And of course, I'll throw it from the same spot. So 28 with my feet. And we're looking 14 at the arrows with the Rubicon. Okay, so I think that Rubicon stored a little bit more energy, meaning that the RST picked up sooner. Um, so let's move in to the oil even more. And uh, let's see what they do from about 16, 17 at the arrows. I have a feeling this RST is really gonna dig in the oil and really finish through the pins very well. But we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna stand on 32 and look at 16. So that's a four and two adjustment. Ooh. Just like I said, it really dug in the oil, which is what I'm seeing a lot of in this bowl. It's very similar to the Rubicon, just seems like the Rubicon's a hair cleaner and then just a little bit more down lane. Whereas the RST, I think this one covers more boards actually. Just because it's overall stronger. So let's make that move inside with the Rubicon from the same spot. Rising up my hand real quick. 32 at the arrows. 16 at, sorry, yeah. 32 with my feet, 16 at the arrows. So yeah, Rubicon's just a little bit weaker, a little cleaner, but not much at all. And then RST just really digs in the oil. I think it'll be good for heavier lane conditions, um, or maybe even house shots that have a little bit more volume. So if you guys liked what you saw out of the ball, Make sure you go order yours today at your local pro shop. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Peace. What's up, guys? So as promised, at 750 subscribers, I'm giving away a brand new Storm and Roto Grip Ball, Storm or Roto Grip Ball, to one lucky subscriber, and we've reached 750. I believe I'm at 792. So on the way here today, I chose one of the subscribers to give a free ball to, and that winner is James Cummins. Uh, I believe James is a youth bowler at Manatee Lanes, right up the street from here. So James, if you're watching, contact me and I will get you a Storm or Rotor Grip ball of your choice, whatever weight you throw. And guys, don't forget, at 1,000 subscribers, we are doing another ball giveaway for a Storm or Rotor Grip ball. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe 
and that's all you have to do to enter. Thank you guys.